this video I actually want to show one other variant of a platform track kind of situation in which you just move the platform away uh, after a random wait with a trigger and after a while the platform will just come back. So let's get right into it. I've put, set up this little scene here and what I would like to do is within the scene create a couple platforms which actually sink into the water and if the player doesn't jump fast enough um, yeah, it will just respawn at the respawn locations. So let's first uh, get a platform like last time. Let's see if there's any small block. Just gonna shift it in. As usual, it's in the default sorting layer. Let's put it on the player. It's also a little bit too big for my liking. Let's make it small platforms. So in the transform, we just put 0.3. That's nice. And as you can see, I've actually made it affect a little bit like this, that you put it in the water. And how I did this is just having all these kind of water overlays. Which you can, I just made it, let's say, a transparent kind of water. And this gives this desired effect. And so there's now the new block. Whoops, there's a lot of objects here. But as always, let's make in the player level a new hierarchy. So create empty, and we're just going to call this um, um, trap platforms or something, whatever, doesn't really matter. And within here, we're just going to place this one block. So there's no need, um, actually, we do need a location, I just realized. So perhaps let's add one more child here, and we call this the falling block. Uh, following block one, moving block, trap block, whatever. And then within this block, we're gonna just create two empties right away, which should be in this location, or let's say in this hierarchy of the following block one. And this is, let's say, target two, and duplicate, and this is target one. Let's just put the block here on top. Each block base to yeah. Let's just call it the block or platform actually. There we go. As usual, we just have to add two colliders. So let's make this smaller, and we're gonna add a box collider 2D. This one will be to walk on. And we're going to add one more box collider 2D, which will be the trigger. Yeah, so once the player jumps on top, this trigger will start. So now we have the target 1, which is here, and we want to have target 2 to probably go, let's say, down, because I want it to move down in the water, right, and out of the player sight target two. So now let's let's add the state finite machine. This one's gonna be rather easy. First in the action browser we're gonna make a trigger, trigger to the event like this. We want to make sure that the right tag is selected. In this case it should be the player tag. Let's make sure that Emily actually has the Emily tag, so it shows really the player. In most cases, it is actually the player tag. And then we're just going to go to the next event. So let's add here a transition finished. Also, after the player enters, finishes, we go to the random wait. And this is a fun function actually, random wait, in which you can actually just say minimum zero to whatever, but let's make the block disappear fast, or so we're gonna say 0 0.2 to max one. And then we're gonna make, let's say the trap finished. And now we're actually going to do a very simple one. We're just gonna move it again. 
move the platform. And for that, we actually made the targets. So we're going to make an additional move, move object. Uh, and we're going to put target one. If correct, target one. Mm, actually, it's not correct. We're going to put target two, the one which is, let's say, below. And we're going to make it also super fast so that it's like gone within a swoosh. And afterwards, it's finished. Add a transition, finished. And here we're going to add a, another state, a wait state, because we don't want one after platform come back right away. Just going to let it wait down there uh, a while. Um, let's say, let's let it wait four seconds and then it's finished. Connect this one here, transition finished. I've got a lot of arrows, but it's somewhere else in the level. Don't worry about that. And we're just going to copy this one, copy paste, because we're going to just move it back. And instead of target, um, let's say two, we're going to put target one. And perhaps we can just make it a little bit coming back more smoothly. And afterwards, we just want to have it idle again and waiting until the player hits it again. So let's see if this actually works. Ah, I already forgot that we forgot to put one thing, which is that the platform should be ground because my player only identifies uh, objects which have a ground layer so the player can walk on it. This could be different in your game, however you have your, let's say, ground check set up. Well, let's do this, see what happens. So I'm gonna jump on it. Up ah, and you, okay, I'm just gonna keep falling because I didn't have a kill floor for some reason, or the kill floor is here, but for some reason, it isn't working anymore, is it? No, for some reason, ah, because, okay, let's put the kill floor a little bit here. In the water, there we go. Whoops, big kill floor in the whole level. Let's zoom back. And so as you saw, the platform moved away super fast. Perhaps I can make this a little bit slower, let's say. That it just you can actually see it sink and not just disappear. Uh, maybe one is enough. Um, but let's try it once more. And I'm just gonna try and jump off it right away. And jump, and you can see what wow, it sank away. And now you can, of course, make it a, a little bit more fun by just putting a little bit more platforms here in the water. There one. Put one there, so I can actually make it to the other side. And let's see if we get the desired effect. No. Do the platforms come back? That's the big question now. Mm -hmm. There, ah, look, they came off the water. Here, of course, I should fix this a little bit, this water animation. So, and of course, if you want to make it, uh, let's say, more interesting, you could also add a sound effect, for example. And during the random wait, you can also add a sound play sound. Now I'm not sure if I have any sound. Uh, I hear some fun sound. Do, 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 do. Clock ticking effect. The clock ticking effect is always nice. Laser sound. <laughs> Laser sound. Oh no, please not. Didn't I have a, yeah, perhaps this, something like this, this could be, but it could be anything, you can make a cracking sound or whatnot, right, so uh, this was this, let's try to put this sound, we're just going to do the random weight anyway and play the sound, let's see if it actually works.
don't play the sound and now it just waits down there if you look in the scene food view you can see it's coming back great well that's also an easy method to do um, moving platforms thanks and see you next time